While our resources across the planet might be dwindling, there is something that we have plenty of, garbage. And the amount of trash we produce just keeps on growing and growing. On average, each of us in the U.S. generates about four pounds a day. That's more than 240 million tons of garbage a year, most of which ends up in landfills. And here's the energy connection. All that decomposing waste produces gases. Across America, that gas is being used to generate electricity. The EPA says enough electricity is generated from burning landfill gas to power more than a million homes. And now, some companies are using that trash to help fuel, well, trash pickup and cut down on the amount of oil we use. Peter Standring explains in this Energy Now Spotlight. You might say Gino Crusto has a dirty job. After all, he spends all week driving around the San Francisco Bay Area collecting trash. It, it definitely will bring the man or the woman out of you. I mean, I, I've seen big men cry. Despite the hard work, Crusteau is no crybaby. In fact, he loves his job, especially his new truck. When I come home after working in a diesel truck, I smell like diesel. Unlike most heavy-duty refuse vehicles, this rig doesn't run on diesel. It's actually powered by gas made from trash. How'd it go today? Everything all right? Scott yeah, so Gurman so is a fleet okay. manager with Waste yeah, Management excellent. Inc. The company operates the largest waste removal trucking fleet in North America, about 22,000 vehicles. Here in California, more than 1,000 of them run on trash gas, which is technically liquefied natural gas, or LNG for short. This year, we did not buy one single diesel vehicle. They're all natural gas. The fuel that the company is using to power its fleet of waste removal trucks comes from this giant landfill, and it's actually a product of all this garbage. It's the Altamont Landfill, one of the largest in Northern California, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right now, we average about 5,000 tons of garbage each day. Jessica Jones is an engineer with waste management, which also owns the landfill. And this is the wellhead, the top of the well that collects landfill gas, anything from a banana peel to um, the leg of, a, of an old desk or chair that you're throwing away. That's all organic, and that's the material that breaks down when it's in the landfill and creates methane gas. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, and in the U.S., landfills are the third largest source of it, after oil and natural gas industries and farm animals. By federal law, landfill operators have to destroy 75% of the methane they produce. But here, most of it, 93%, is captured and converted to energy. We can take what could be a bad thing for the environment and completely turn it around and make it an excellent uh, thing for the environment. So all of this trash here that surrounds us is actually a valuable resource. Yes, it is, it is. To fully harness that resource, the company's installed nearly 200 wells all over the landfill. The pipe has holes or perforations in it so that we can pull with a small vacuum, we can pull the landfill gas below the ground up into the well. From here, the captured landfill gas travels through a network of pipes. It arrives at this high-tech processing plant where it's dried and scrubbed clean of any unwanted gases like carbon dioxide. Once those gases are out, we have clean methane, and then we have to cool the methane gas down to around 260 degrees, minus 260 degrees, to get it to liquefy. The gas is liquefied and turned into fuel, which is put into these massive holding tanks and then pumped into transfer trucks and hauled away for distribution. Landfill gas that happens naturally and converting it to a fuel to actually fuel the trucks that haul the garbage is, is about the most exciting thing we've done in a long time around garbage. Currently, waste management is producing 13,000 gallons of LNG from trash gas every day. Much of it ends up here at the company's Oakland refueling yard. At minus 260 degrees, the LNG requires special handling. Despite the risk of getting a little freezer burn, lead mechanic Mike Keel admits He's a big fan of trash gas. Well, it's 
quite amazing, actually. I mean, we're producing fuel that comes from the landfill. No major problems? No, no. Sir. Peter Ward, a fellow on the right, is with the California Energy Commission. His agency is a big supporter of LNG made from waste. It's clean burning, but it's also uh, from the carbon intensity, which is a well-to-wheels calculation of the, the carbon intensity of the fuel as delivered is very, very low compared to any other alternative. In fact, trash gas gives off 80 to 90 percent fewer carbon emissions than diesel. And LNG is a viable, uh, economically efficient fuel. Richard Battersby is the director of a group that supports the use of cleaner alternative fuels. When you start looking at the numbers, LNG from landfill gas has the potential to displace millions of gallons of petroleum fuel. The infrastructure needed to produce trash gas is very expensive. This plant alone cost more than $15 million. But many alternative fuel experts, like Battersby, think LNG from waste makes sense. I fully expect to see more and more landfill gas to alternative fuel operations in the next five to ten years. So garbage trucks that run on garbage may be coming soon to a neighborhood near you. Proof that one man's trash really is another man's treasure. In Northern California, Peter Standring, Energy Now. The EPA says there are hundreds of untapped landfills across the U.S., so we calculated how much energy they might contain in our Energy Now reality meter. New landfill gas projects could produce enough energy to replace about 800 million gallons of diesel a year, or roughly 2% of what's burned by trucks and other heavy vehicles. Still, there are barriers. Natural gas trucks and fueling stations are expensive. But the natural gas industry says after those upfront costs, truckers will save money on fuel. It wants Congress to pass the Nat Gas Act, which would provide tax credits for buying natural gas trucks. A quick note, Energy Now's initial funding comes from the American Clean Skies Foundation, which is funded in part by Chesapeake Energy, a major player in the natural gas industry. We are editorially independent. Neither the foundation nor its backers control what we say or do on this program.